And we've been waiting for this day for a long time. It's opening day in the NBA. Thanks, everyone, for joining us here in the start of a new season. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. And a quick look at how Atlanta's schedule shaping up. On Friday, they'll face off against Paul George and the Chicago Bulls. Then on Monday, they'll be facing Drew Holiday and the Boston Celtics. And a look at the starters for the Hornets. They've got Grant Williams. Miller is out there with LaMelo Ball. Then it's Williams. And it's Williams at power forward. And for the Hawks, Trey Young is out there with Malik Beasley. Then it's Johnson. Then there's DeAndre Hunter. And it's Okongwu in at the five. Game one of this great season to come. It's just so great, Clark, to be here with you. How excited are you? No more off-season talk, guys. I mean, finally, we get to play for real. Some games that count. Let's go, like me on Christmas morning. I am excited. Miller sets a screen for ball. Miller outside. Shot clock at five. From deep. Rebound by the Hawks. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Here's Beasley. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three. Three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Hey, give Beasley all the credit there. I mean, when he got hit. He was not satisfied with just free throw. Since moving to Atlanta in 1968, Greg, the Hawks the have never Find been the to the NBA Finals. No that is insane, Kevin. I mean, you think back to all the great players they've had from Dominique Wilkins to now Trey Young. Hawks fans are hungry for a trip to the Finals. You know, when Beasley stays within himself, I think he's really an effective player, and we know he's skilled on offense. Young against Ball. Williams passes to Williams. He dishes it to Ball. And it's sent back by Okongwu. Miller against Beasley. Williams 
Rose with the block. They get it back. It's good. Nice touch there from Okongwu. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Williams, a screen on Beast. Miller with the ball. Okongwu covering. And the foul called on Brandon Miller. That is his first foul of the game. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. A defensive play like that early in the game can go a long way. Establishes an attitude that you want to have during the game. The Hawks have gone two or three here to start out the game. Young looking it over. And the three off target. Tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. And it's Miller with the jam. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. And that's an alley-oop that'll be loop-to-loop -loop all day long on the highlight reel. And the Hawks with possession here after the basket by Charlotte. That's tipped and stolen by Miller. He takes it in. Excellent D there from Beasley. And here's Atlanta. Young outside. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Williams with the steal. Kicks it to ball. Takes the three. Atlanta with the rebound. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Young, no good. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. Back to Williams. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks. And checking out the numbers for Young. Great showing for him last season. First in free throw percentage, and he ranked third in assists last season as well. Truly one of the league's preeminent playmakers. And as you said, the league's best free throw shooter last season. What a tremendous asset, especially in clutch situations. That one's not going to go. Nice D from Williams. Outside Williams, back to Williams. Ball finds Williams. Cranes it from beyond the arc. And you cannot leave anybody open on Ball's team because this guy is excellent at finding his teammates. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet were set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. Passes it to Williams. Miller against Beasley. Back to Williams. And it's DeAndre Hunter with the foul. That's his first foul. Atlanta on D. Trailing by two. Back to ball. Just five to shoot. Williams a screen on Young. Ball with a wide open look. That one rolling around and runs out. For Atlanta, they've gone two or six in the field. And one thing with LaMelo, Clark, he has so much length at that point guard position. Yeah, you know, Kevin, he's listed at 6'7", but he's got a much bigger wingspan than that, which allows him to effectively throw passes over the top and I think it helps in him being disruptive as a defender too and ball really confident even amongst the big fellows inside which is why he's able to draw these fouls it's his first trip to the line and that one misses well, I tell you, I like Ball's mental makeup for such a young guy. Plays with patience and the wisdom of a 10-year vet, and he produces in every area. Tyson Daniels checked in for Beasley. 
And he sinks the second. And the Hawks with possession here. Pass to Hunter. To the middle. Here's Johnson. Hunter on the wing. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. A shot by Johnson, no good. Charlotte has gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. And a great move by Williams. Williams has got five points so far. I tell you, he has some impressive moves in his repertoire. That's as good as it gets, but just one of many. Johnson sends the screen for Hunter. Lobbed up there for Johnson. Taken away by Williams. Oh, and the jam by Williams. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. When you watch Young, there's a courage to his game. And it's Miller Bennett. Oh, 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 my goodness! Oh. Come on now! And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Boy, and I used to love going up and jamming it down like that, guys. And, and offensively, he has been a liability more than he's helped this quarter. Tries the spin move. Hornets leading by five. Clock at six. Puts up a deep three. Johnson with the clock. Okongwu with it. Williams picks him up. Now Daniels. He has yet to score. On the wing, Johnson, covered by Miller. Young from outside. Scores for only the second time tonight. Now two for six from the field. Oh, great look there. Young off a pass will normally knock those down. Williams, a screen on Young. Here's Ball. Rebound by the Hawks. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. And that one's good. Daniels. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. The Hornets have gone 6 of 13 from the field, just under the 50% mark. Now, here is Miller. He's covered by Daniels. Floats it up for Williams. The kick out to Williams. And not going to go. He misses the first attempt on the night. Atlanta's gone 2 of 4 from beyond the arc to start the game. Young with the ball. Now guarded by Ball. And the pass to Daniels. Back to Johnson. The shot's good on the assist by Daniels. Johnson's got five points so far. Yeah, great outside shooting. Really fueling this run. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat.
So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. And in front of you now is a list of the players with the highest shooting percentage last season. Fifth best, Clint Capella. Put the ball in the bucket. I mean, that's the name of the game, right? I mean, just ask him. He'll have the answer for you. Olenek the pass to man. Can they get it? Count it. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. The Hawks leading. Here's Bufkin. And here's Anderson from the arc. The rebound by Shepard. And already they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well. Here's Bufkin. Banked in off the glass. And the Hawks lead by four. Oh, great ball movement there. For Charlotte, they've gotten seven of their first 16 field goal attempts to go down here in the first. Fires for three. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. That has gone three of six, 50% from deep so far tonight. On the wing, count that one. And now a six-point Atlanta lead. Charlotte's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Here's Shepard. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. First free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Daniels with it. Pass to Theibel. A three-pointer off the mark. And that one gives them a plus-five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Here's Bufkin. Williams with the block. And he's able to get it back. And the basket is good. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Passes to Fongecchio. Over Thibel. They get it back. Williams for three. His first miss. Now three of four from the field. The Hawks leading by four. Kicks it to Daniels. Launches it. The Hornets pull it in. You know, Greg, for the Olympics, basketball is a shared family passion. Yeah, I mean, Kelly's father was a coach. But his mom was actually the first woman to be an NBA scorekeeper. So he was raised around the game. Here is Daniels. And with the rebound. Boy, that's a look. He has to finish, and he knows it. Blowing opportunity. Olenek the pass to Shepard. Here's Mann. Fires the three. Nailed from three-point land. Mann's got five now. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Daniels passes to Anderson. And here is Capella. He kicks it to Daniels. Rebound by Olenek. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Charlotte trailing. 
It's Williams high post. Seven points in the game. 43 seconds left in the first quarter. And they take the lead. Mann's got his third basket of the night. Here's Bufkin. On the wing, Daniels. Let's it go. And they call the foul. So he's got Shots the good. and one chance here to make it a three-point play. That's good. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to fall. I like to call that stick tuitiveness getting everything he possibly could out of that play. And the Hornets making a change here. Jackson's checked in. What's up? Daniels, no good on the free throw. And here's Sharp. They trail by one. Here's Shepard. Anderson with the block. And now Daniels pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Come get it, come get it. And here's Jackson. There's a screen by Williams beyond the arc. And again, Charlotte with the triple. And that defense wasn't enough on Jackson. He's clever and can shoot through that opposition. Tie game in Atlanta. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And when you consider how Atlanta is doing, your thoughts? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you know, you have a guy in there blocking a bunch of shots or multiple players blocking shots. It causes the offense to think twice when they go up for shots in there. And so it's Atlanta with it. They've got Beasley. Hunter is out there with Johnson. And it's Young, and it's Capella in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's the Hawks' five. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. Ball finds Williams. Beasley with the steal. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. They got for us, D.A. Thank you, Kevin. Now, LaMelo Ball is young, but he certainly has words of wisdom already. He says, everybody always asks me, what's my slogan? Two words, be you. You just got to be you from the jump, and whatever's supposed to happen is going to happen. If you ain't you, you already lost. That's a fact. Kevin? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. More than comfortable in his own skin. David, thank you. Now Capella, following the miss by LaMelo Ball from deep. Young's shot is off. Boy, the defense got lucky there with him missing it. But they don't want to chance that again. Jackson dishes to Williams. Here's the three. Hits the three-point bomb. Williams has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. The Hawks have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Jackson against Young. Pass to Hunter. And we see players sometimes, Greg, after a change of venue, they, they change teams, certainly taking the next step. What can key that lead? Kevin, it's not all just opportunity and fit. I think there can be a mental component as well. A, a fresh start can give you a blank canvas to try new things. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Beasley sets a screen for Young, fires from deep. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Now, here's Ball. Jackson with the screen. Hunter grabs the miss. 
The Hawks trail by three. The dish to Young. Inside, Hunter sets a screen for Johnson. Williams with the block. Outside, Jackson. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Miller with a screen on Young. Jackson from long range. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll go to the line to shoot three. It's going to be on Trey Young. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Charlotte. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. In addition to that, how about the mid-range action we've seen from this group? Utilizing the jump shot to get them started in the right manner in this one. That's good from Jackson. You know, you really have to respect workhorses like Reggie Jackson, Clark. He is something else. Yeah, I think he brings everything in his package that you want in a veteran guard. He's reliable on the court. He's a professional off of it. And he elevates your team's basketball IQ, too. He's a smart player. Okong Wu's checked in for the Hawks. He hits the second from the line. And Jackson certainly doesn't lack confidence. A speedy guard who can fill it up in no time. nails the third they have capitalized well from the free throw line their percentage very impressive they need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence Johnson a wide open look it's good from long range Johnson's got eight points and how about the find by Trey making sure he keeps his teammates involved Smith drives in a stupendous finish in traffic and that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10, right at him, get to the rack. And here's Young from the arc. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Williams has got four rebounds in this game. Here's Jackson, rebounded by the Hawks. They'll be playing host to Chicago for their next game find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. And then Johnson with the jam. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. The Hawks trail by three. Okongwu, the pass to Young. Back to Okongwu over Jackson rebound by Williams Williams has got his fifth rebound in this one Smith against Beasley there's Jackson with the three Hunter grabs the miss and here's Hunter he'll bring it up for the Hawks there's the pass to Young Johnson sets the screen for Young Looking to get it going. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. That's a foul on Charlotte. And Young, such a clever shooter. He makes sure to get himself a foul while putting up the shot. The Hawks have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. Take a break. And one Take of the break. highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. And you can't take those numbers lightly, fellas. I mean, their free throw shooting made a difference for them in a lot of their games last season. And Young, a fiery competitor, someone who enjoys getting under the skin of opposing players. Trey Mann, he's checked in for Jackson. And so Young nails them both. Charlotte has gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Johnson with the block. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. Oh, 
Mann passes to Williams. Six on the shot clock. Williams, a screen on Beasley. Smith for three. Good work from Beasley. Doing a really outstanding job making an impact on defense. Pass to Johnson. Young from outside. Offensive rebound. Okongwu. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Charlotte in the lead. Smith, the pass to man. Now Williams. Now Miller. Smith, no good. Here's Okongwu. And he converts the layup. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. And a brief check of the stats for Williams. Last year, getting it done. And he was among the top 20 rebounders in the league. Never shot about throwing his weight around in the paint. And you know, back to his tremendous efficiency shooting last season, top 10 in the league, his dead-eye shooting creates so many opportunities for that offense. Now, here is Young. He has seven. Dishes it to Johnson. Passes it to Okongwu. It's Young on the wing. Let's it go with a three. Hornets with the rebound. You know, it's really surprising that they're up at this point, given that he struggled so mightily. Smith with a screen on Young. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. This tug-of-war game continues. And, guys, that's lucky number seven already in this game. Young outside. Beasley for three. Drills the three-pointer. Beasley's got five points in the quarter. Beasley's on the court to do one thing, and that's knock down jumpers. Here's Mann, defended by Young. Mann gets the bucket. The Hawks shooting 33% in the second quarter. The offense has looked crossed up and confused at times. Young, again, the Hawks good for two. And not his quarter, scoring-wise. Just one of seven from the field. Charlotte trailing. Charlotte calls timeout. So both teams changing it up here. Here's the 2K leaderboard with last season's best free throw shooting teams. The Hawks, number one. You know, they made that a point of emphasis a season ago. I mean, they spent a lot of time in practice drilling their free throws. And I think it really paid off with the best percentage in the league. Pass to man. Here's the screen. Bangs home the trifecta. Mann's got 14. Well, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Offensive rebound. Bible on the wing. Fast break. Here we go. By himself. Rips down the breakaway slam. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers, game changers, momentum shifters, especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. Hornets leading by three. How about this run, Craig? They're on right now. Wow. I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing, really keeping things simple. Now, how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket? Buffkin. And it's Thibel in the corner. And just miss after miss right now. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. 
I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. A nice shot by Anderson. Charlotte has gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just 2 of 6 from long range. And there's the pass to Olenek. Here's Mann. Rebound by the Hawks. Okongwu has now got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Bufkin. Olenek is covering. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Pass to Fontecchio. Charlotte no good that time either. The Hawks trail by three. Pass to Daniels. They set the pick. And he hits it to tie the game up. Daniels has got ten. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. 13 feet away. Shepard, that's good. He's got six. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. You know, guys, if they're inside, that shot probably gets blocked. But from mid-range, I mean, he's able to get it off over the bigger defender there. How about battling through the impact there and then willing that basketball in? Boy, it does your heart good to see that kind of determination in a player. Really excellent focus that time. And the Hawks making a change here. Capella's checked in. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that drops, so they now lead by one. The Hornets shooting 45% in quarter number two. Here, Shepard. He's covered by Daniels. Pass to man. Shot clock at six. There's the triple. The rebound by Anderson. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the board, we're certainly seeing the effort. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Here's Olenek and the dunk by Olenek. Yeah, he can surprise you around the rim. Olenek has some lift. The Hawks shooting in this game, 45%. Here is Daniels. He's got 15. And again, it's Atlanta. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Hornets trail by three. Here's Mann. He's got 18. Drops in the layup for two. Mann's got 20. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. 36 seconds left to play in the first half. Now the pass to Thibault. Here's Bufkin. There's the pick. Let's the three fly. Another three for Atlanta. There's 21 seconds left in the first half of the game. Here's Mann. 20 points for him. From the arc. Hits it from three-point range. He's got 23. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. And that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. Hawks on top, leading by just one. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. Hey, folks, welcome. The Atlanta Hawks find themselves here in a close one at the half. 
You've got to appreciate the energy they've shown in the first half, attacking in transition. Any chance they get to run out, they're taking it. Against them, if you don't make it a half-court game, you're hurting yourself. And now let's take a moment to look at the upcoming games on the schedule. Look here now at Charlotte. At this point, you got to take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do better than last year? Happens for us, too. Kenny, you cook up any new approaches in the offseason? Well, I'm going to reveal those, you know, over time, not just all in one sitting. But you're right. There is an opportunity to stretch and experiment. See what's working and what isn't. And that's a halftime wrap. Let's get back to the second half with the call by Kevin Harlan and the crew. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And so Young will bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. They lead by one. And Charlotte looking at who they've got. We've got Ball. Williams is out there with Williams. And it's Miller. And it's Williams at the three, the small forward. Outside Williams. Young against Ball. Over Young. Again, the Hornets score. Deadly in the pick and roll. The mellow ball can do anything out of that particular set. This time calling his own number. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Taken away by Williams. Kicks the ball. For the lead. And another three for Charlotte. Well, I like the fact that this is something Ball continues to work on. That deep shot of his. He knows he's got to be a threat from deep to expand his game. Now, here is Young. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. And Johnson with the stuff. And how about the awareness Hunter possesses? Understands when one of his guys has an opportunity. And here are the Hornets now. Their next game playing at home as the Nets come into town. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Ball from long range. Drills it from outside. Ball's got eight here in the quarter. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Johnson with a screen on ball. On its way from Young for two. It's rebounded by Charlotte. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Ball against Young. Ball no good. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Ball against Young. For three. Beasley. The basket good. Off the assist from Young. Young's got his fourth assist in this one. Charlotte's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Here's Miller. Oh, Mark, he just rocked the rim. Insanity oh, oh, oh. on display right there. Wow. Woo. He's a brave man. You're risking <laughs> life and limb trying to move like that. He couldn't pass it up, though, right? Letting it all go. You know, that's exactly what the fans love to see, guys. I mean, they're paying good money, big money. They want wins, but they also want to be entertained. So they take the lead. Young's got 14 points. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. Ball dishes to Williams. Williams looking over the floor. Here's Ball. And Charlotte again with the bucket. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget. But in the second half, he's looked a lot better. Young against Ball. The 19-foot shot. Young's shot is off. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. Ball with it. Okongwu covering. Williams with a clean look. That three off the mark. How 
hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Pass to Hunter. Going inside. And it's Hunter with the jam. And what I admire about Hunter is that opportunistic attitude. This kid just makes things happen. Ball, the pass to Williams. Ball dishes to Williams. Back to Ball. Young with the steal. Last break here. Here come the Hawks. The train. They get it again. And the shot goes in. And now a three-point Atlanta lead. The tenacity on the interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second-chance points. Ball from long range. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. Here in the second half, he's looked like a totally different player. That's his third triple. Young against Ball for three. Young, no good. Misfires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with. It's a tough day so far. Miller outside. Hunter grabs the miss. Hunter's got his sixth rebound on the night. Young against Ball. Good. Nice job down low. Young's got seven now in this quarter. Charlotte's gone three of five with the long ball since entering the second half. There's Ball with the three. Johnson with the rebound. Johnson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Young with the ball. 16 points for him. And there's Johnson. That's good on the assist from Young. Young's got six assists now in the game. You know, a stellar floor general. Young has that uncanny ability to find his guys at the right time. Williams for three. And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. The Hawks leading by four. Johnson outside. Williams against Hunter. Williams with the block. Ball with it, and Young picks him up defensively. And it's slammed in by Williams. And Ball definitely has the passing DNA. Some of his dime drops are really sweet. Beasley sets a screen for Young. There's the three. Johnson kicks to Okongwu. Passes it to Young. Stolen by Ball. Young with the steal. And the layup is good. Young's got 18 points in the game. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. And the Hornets call time here. And the Hawks with a completely new group on the floor. And the Hornets making a change here. Olenek the pass to Fonjekio. Deep two from Ball. Money from the wing. 16 points for him. Boy, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. They set the screen. Here's Bufkin. Connects from three-point range. And the Hawks lead by five. You know, the screen wasn't that great, but still he got it done. Excellent concentration on the hard finish. Here's Miller, and he tries off the glass, but it's no good. I wonder what the score would be 
if they weren't controlling the backboard. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Ball is screen on Anderson. Here's Miller. Rebound Atlanta. Anderson's got four rebounds now tonight. To the inside, Capella, and the dunk by Capella. Capella's so good at finishing around the rim, showing you right there. Great explosiveness inside. Hornets trail by nine. Outside, ball. He dishes it to Miller. Astro Linick. They need this. The long distance three is Barry. Olenek's got his second bucket tonight. Yeah, listen, if you're seven foot and can shoot threes, there's a place for you in today's NBA. Olenek has that rare combination. Daniels, no good. And Zoe Miller will bring it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Over to the wing. From outside the arc. It's hauled in by Thibault. Talk about hurting your team. I mean, he just can't get anything to go out there. Just rubbing it in their faces with that gun. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. Here's Fontecchio. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Fontecchio's got his first three points of the game. Atlanta leading by five. Screen by Capella. Here's Bufkin. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Hornets shooting it pretty well. Close to 50%. Here's Shepard. He's covered by Daniels. There's Ball with the three. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. So it's the Hawks now. He kicks to Daniels. Capella with a screen on Olenek. Here's Daniels. Anderson wide open. How good on the three. Hornets trail by five. The pass to Fonjecchio. Outside ball. And a miss there on the triple. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Fibol, the pass to Daniels. Pass to Capella. Six to shoot. Knocked away. And stolen by Miller. And here we go with Miller running up the court. Passes it to Fonjecchio. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It goes on Kyle Anderson. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Hawks. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're, they're really looking to just make that extra pass. You know, the defense has given them that shot, and they've knocked it down consistently. And that's been a real key factor for them tonight. And he knocks down the first one. Atlanta making a switch here. Beasley's checked in. And then for Charlotte, Smith checked in for Miller. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Ball. Good on both. The Hawks leading by three. Anderson a screen on Jackson. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That is his first foul of the game. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Anderson outside. Kicks it to Daniels. Capella with a screen on Jackson. And the dunk by Capella. You know, Capella, one of the very best in the league at getting out of the screen and getting to the right spot. 51 seconds left here in the third quarter. That one falls. 
Here's Beasley. 11 points in the game. Pass to Anderson. Down low. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Here's Smith. Rebounded by Capella. The Hawks leading by three. Here's Anderson. And he banks in the layup. Anderson's got his third basket of the night right there. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And here's Smith. Shoots the three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Smith's got five points now in the quarter. Trey Young, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Hawks. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Johnson is out there with Clint Capella. And it's Young. Then there's DeAndre Hunter. And it's Beasley in at the two-guard spot. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. And there's Jackson on the assist by Williams. And it's all knotted up. Can't give Jackson any airspace from there because he's going to make you pay. Young against Jackson. Young passes to Johnson. Now Capella. Six on the shot clock. Young, no good. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but you don't like to see it when the game is this close. And for the Hawks, they're shooting with confidence. 50% from the field so far. Lobbed up there for Johnson. Williams with the steal. Jackson passes to Williams to take the lead. And another three for Charlotte. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Hornets. Really a great job in this one, forcing the issue defensively. Great quickness and discipline combined, making ball handlers very uncomfortable. And they've also shown great effort defensively tonight. They closed out on shooters and really got their hands up on multiple shots. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's Jackson. Good work defensively by Capella. Hunter finds Young. Beasley sets a screen for Young. Comes up empty down low. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Okongwu's checked in for Capella. Ball's checked in for Charlotte. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Young against Ball. Young passes to Johnson. Kept alive. Kicks it out to Beasley. This one for three. Johnson gets the bucket. Smart pass there by Beasley. He spots a guy with a better shot and doesn't hesitate to get him the ball.
Now, here's Ball. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Yeah, clutch play there. No reason to risk the jumper when you can get to the rack. Yeah, you want to get those sure things down the stretch, and that close to the bucket, he is a sure thing. Now here's Beasley. Williams with the block, and they'll keep possession. The pass to Beasley. Down to five on the shot clock. For the three. A Hornets pull it in. Williams passes the ball. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Outside Williams. Here's Shepard. Covered by Beasley. That one goes in. Boy, right down to the wire here. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry for the win. Now, here is Young. And he's finally able to knock one down. Young's got 11 points here in just the second half. Here's Shepard. Covered by Beasley. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. It's going to be on Malik Beasley. And he's good on the first of three. on the second free throw. And he makes all three. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Here's Okongwu. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his fifth rebound in this one. Williams can't hit. And so Young will bring it up for the Hawks. Williams with the block. That's good from Williams, the assist by Ball. Ball's got assist number five here tonight. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Now, here is Young. He lobs it up. And Okongwu slams it in. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Well, I tell you what, that's the play we'll remember if they can put together a little surge to break this game open. Ball no good. The Hawks trailing. Here's Hunter. And he drops it in from the low post. At 6 7, Hunter, nice handles there, showing him off on that possession. Hornets have gone 5 of 8 shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Now here's Williams. Pass to Shepard. And it's good assisting on the play was Williams. And the Hornets lead by two. How about the ferocity from him right there? This guy is relentless. Beasley outside. Young outside. What's up a three? Rebound by Williams. Williams has got six rebounds here tonight. Passes to Shepard. Williams a screen on Beasley. Back to Williams. And Williams with the stuff. An aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Young finds Hunter. Buries the long-range jumper. Hunter's got five points now this quarter. And the defense has to recognize this. Hunter is a legit threat to shoot off the catch. There's a screen by Williams. Here's Shepard. Count it and the foul. It goes on Jalen Johnson. 
Now, how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Miller's checked in for the Hornets. The Hawks trail by four. Now Young, pass to Hunter. The rebound by Shepard. For Charlotte, they've gone 8 of 11 from the field in the final period. Great shooting down the stretch. Ball surveying the defense. And he drives in. That shot is off. Atlanta has gone a disappointing 2 of 6 on three-point attempts here in the fourth. To the paint. Johnson kicks to Hunter. Misses the three. Just enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. And it's Williams finishing it off. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. You know, improving on certain aspects of his game, it's crucial. Young continues to knock down these tough interior shots. Charlotte calls timeout. And with a fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds, and getting that strategy down to close out the game. Tyson Daniels checked in for Atlanta. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Well, during that break, Mike D'Antoni talked to his team. Now they've been happy with the way the team is shooting. He reminded players to keep taking those threes, that they've had some clean looks. And when that three goes in, it's always a welcome sight. Guys? Okay, David, much appreciated. He's a three off the inbound. Rebounded by the Hawks. Young's got his fifth rebound in this one. Wound up there for Johnson. Hammers the alley-oop through. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Unless you're the team getting punched on. That would be the difference. And so Young will bring it up for the Hawks. Here is Daniels. Back to Young. They get it again. Johnson dishes to Young to tie it up. Second chance shot. That one falls coming off Johnson's feet. Johnson's got his third assist on the night. Charlotte has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Williams a screen on Young. There's Ball with the three. Okongwu grabs the board. Okongwu's now got rebound number 13 with that last one. Daniels with it. Johnson the screen. And here's Daniels. Off target is sixth miss in 13 attempts from the floor. Ball, the pass to Williams. And it's Williams finishing it off. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Atlanta calls timeout. Atlanta making a switch here. Capella's checked in. The Hornets also with a sub. Williams is checked in. So it's the Hawks now. A two-point game. 
Capella with a screen on Miller. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. No good on that one. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. Here's Miller. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Williams has got six assists now in the game. The Hawks trail by four. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Here is Daniels. 11 feet away. Good T by Williams. Hornets leading by four. Miller outside. A three-pointer is right on target. Miller's got five points in the quarter. And they've done some nice work as we've come down the stretch here in the final quarter. You can feel the sense of urgency they have to get this thing closed out as soon as possible. Young with no one around. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. <laughs> this is why people are just so high on Young because he comes through with big shots in the game. Spins. Here's Miller. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. The Hawks trail by four. Young outside. The pass to Hunter. The basket good off the assist from Young. Young's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Ball against Young. Loads it up for Williams. And Capella sends it back. Boy, the timing Capella has on the defensive end. Outstanding. Terrific at knowing exactly when to go up for those blocks. Now, here is Young. He kicks it to Hunter. The dish to Johnson. Williams with the block. Williams passes the ball. Looking to end his cold spell. Up again. It's good on the putback. And the Hornets lead by four. Well, I tell you, there's nothing more impressive than seeing a young player keeping his composure in a high-stakes big league situation. Now, here is Young. He's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Oh, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. First free throw is good, and that narrows the lead down to just three. And we continue to see Young take on more responsibility, welcoming the challenge to go to the line. And so Young nails them both. He is absolutely the guy you want at the line in that situation. It just shows you how much he loves these moments. Now, here's Ball. Good! Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Young against Ball. 
ice in his veins. Young excels at stepping to the plate and delivering in the clutch. And here's Miller. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. Guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. Now's the time to burn some clock. Williams has a screen for ball. Shot from the wing. Again, ball missing. I mean, look, no one guarding you. It's better to not pull up and try the leaner. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. They're trailing by two. There's 18 seconds left to play here in the fourth. What do you think, guys? Big chance here to tie it with a bucket. A critical possession, no doubt. We'll see what they draw up. And they are really racking up the assists in this one. And their team chemistry is evident. These guys enjoy playing with one another. Now, here is Young. Capella with a screen on ball. Young from outside. Held it! Time out, time out. He was smart at using the screen there to just create space. Young, very reliable in that pick and roll. Charlotte calls timeout. They're trailing by one. One second left to play in the final quarter. Guys, your thoughts? One last chance to win it right here. It's got to be a catch and shoot off the inbounds play. They don't have time for a second pass. To win it. Oh, the all or nothing shot. No good. And so the big win by Atlanta in a tight game. What a show they put on here at home tonight. All right, David, thank you. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K sports crew thanking you for tuning in. So long.